Hey Sagittarius, this is Soul. Sagittarius, this is going to be your general forecast reading for the week of uh, October 3rd through the 9th, 2016. Um, before I begin your messages, I just want to um, express that I hope that everyone has had a great summer. We're heading into fall uh, and that everyone was safe. But anyway, we're going to start your messages, Sagittarius. And keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So some of the messages uh, will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to begin your uh, energy. And some of you probably are dealing with or have dealt with uh, the, the energy of the moon in the reverse. So I just feel that some of you have went back. Um, yeah, I don't want to say go back. Not necessarily in time, but you um, were dealing with some issues from the past. That's what I'm picking up with the moon being in the reverse. So it's and it's, you know, for your energy for this upcoming week. So that means that some of you were ref either doing some sort of reflecting uh, or dealing with issues from your past, either issues from your past cropped up and you've had to deal with them. Also, I just feel with the moon showing up that some of you were just uh, looking back into your past. Now, keep in mind, again, this is a general reading, so I'm trying to uh, cover all areas and aspects of your life. So I'm not just focusing or specifically talking about relationships, but that's included with uh, some reflection for some of you uh, looking back in the in your past, either over a relationship uh, that may have ended or may not have ended. And then it's something to do with how things could have been different. Uh, so this is where I'm getting the reflection from the past. Maybe there was something that you could have done. Maybe it was something that they have could have done. Uh, if there was a breakup uh, involving a relationship that would have changed things um, for present day and going into the future. Also, the moon shows up uh, major arcana, major life event. If I didn't say that before, it's in the reverse that some of you are overcoming some sort of depression um yeah i am picking up some sort of depression also too there was some sort of revelations of secrets um now whether that is uh in a relationship or involving a relationship again you have to apply the messages that i'm putting out there to you to whatever is close personal or significant for you there was something that was revealed to sagittarius especially about uh another person that you didn't know before so this is uh, a card of secrets and it's also a card of, um, you know, personal reputation. So maybe some of you had to deal with uh, a situation where you felt that your reputation was, uh, you know, at stake or someone tried to um, do some sort of damage control and it affected your uh, reputation. So it's a lot of energy here. Also, the moon represents Pisces. So it's water sign. So some of this energy could be related to uh, Pisces directly. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. And it also just could be representative of any zodiac sign. So it's overcoming some for some of you depression, overcoming a reflective period, overcoming discovering a secret about someone that you didn't know about or someone discovered a secret about you that they didn't know about okay um so that's good to see that the moon is showing up in the reverse for the energy for you this week if it was in the upright then all of those things in the reverse would apply all right so definitely i'm picking up there was some sort of issues with a relationship with the eight of cups showing up in the reverse next to that moon so this is where I'm picking up the depression and also someone uh, either it was Sagittarius or um, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female again, that uh, was emotionally upset or disappointed uh, when it comes to a relationship or someone that you're dating. Um, also, the emphasis of the eight of cups in the uh, reverse is someone is reluctant to walk away from a situation. Uh, so there's a lot of emotional turmoil going on. Uh, so it may be some sort of hesitancy uh, about a you know potential breakup or it could actually uh, be indicative of there was a breakup. And this is where uh, the eight of cups shows up in the reverse that you're overcoming those emotional um, disappointments or upset attached to that. And this also could be a friendship. 
This also could be uh, severance from a job. Uh, the cups also represents children. So it could be that there were some children involved uh, that, you know, Sag some Sagittarians have that I'm reading for that they were emotionally upset or disappointed uh, within the family structure. So I'm, I'm giving you a lot uh, and trying to apply a lot to the messages that may hit home for some of you. So I'm just getting some children that were emotionally disappointed, uh, definitely a relationship um, that may have or may not have gone sour. There was some sort of disappointment either coming from you directly uh, towards this individual Sagittarius or it was the person that Sagittarius was involved with. Um, it could currently still be involved, but there was something going on. Uh, and it also may relate to um, the moon being in reverse where there was what I was picking up that uh, some sort of secrets, something that was revealed. So when I say secrets, it could mean anything, especially when it comes to love and relationships. So it could also be extended out to. Uh, a secret being in terms of an affair. Maybe there was some sort of affair discovered um, by you towards them or uh, by them towards you. So, But I do feel that there was something that was f being kept sacred from you. So maybe the energy towards you as opposed to the energy um, from you to the, you know, towards them. All right. So the middle of the week is the uh, full which is another major arcana, major life event. And this is all about going steady and ahead and taking that leap of faith. Uh, and then once you take that leap of faith, um, allow the universe to uh, support you. Uh, whatever it is that you're um, stepping out into the um, unknown, just have the um, confidence that whatever it is that you attempt to do, uh, that you will be supported by the universe. And also the fool comes in as, you know, possibly for some of you, fresh starts, new beginnings in all areas or aspects of your life. Well, at least apply that to all areas and aspects of your life. Taking that leap of faith um, into the unknown and just knowing that if you do, uh, be confident and that move forward with your, whatever it is that you have uh, in terms of goals. Uh, this could be, you know, um, possibly wanting to start a new relationship, start a new job, move to a uh, new location. Go for it. This is here to support you. It's in the upright. So and just know that the universe will support whatever your endeavors are. OK. And then also to the full. When it comes in, it's could be representative that Sagittarius. Uh, in the upright is no longer playing the part of a fool uh, when it comes to relationships. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic or intimate, but definitely that's what I'm picking up uh, because of the eight of cups in the reverse and it sits next to that. Uh, and if you notice the fool, the direction uh, the fool on the cliff is facing the eight of cups. So maybe there was a situation where if it involved some sort of secret that was revealed, then Sagittarius is not playing a part of the fool. Leaving that situation alone, although it's dealt or left you emotionally, um, I don't want to say emotionally dismembered, but emotionally unhappy and upset about that situation. OK, so. That's the other message that I have. And then after all is said and done with all of this energy that's showing up here, Friday going into the weekend, some of you are just going to, you know, you're, you're, you're just tired and you just need a rest. Four swords is showing up in the upright. OK, so it might be just um, you having to take a break from it all. You know, life's fast paced and just need some me time and, and to unwind. And this is not really a negative card of energy. So I'm not saying that, but I just feel that it's showed up properly Friday going into the weekend because it may be a lot of stuff that you are dealing with during the week and you need this rest period so some of you may be taking um, you know weekend trips short trips many trips uh, it could be you know with a significant other could be by yourself and it's all about rejuvenation really um, sort of restoration of your emotional physical well-being so I don't see that as being negative at all. And if you don't 
you know, venture out or travel anywhere. It could be that you just stay close to home and this is what you need to unwind. Sort of like disconnect from, um, you know, the world's energy. Also, the uh, four of swords represents uh, air signs. So some of this, you know, with the eight of cups and the moon showing up, some of you may have been, you know, dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female when it comes to uh, relationships, not just love. It could be um, friendships. And it also could be involving uh, co-workers where you work. There's something going on in the family. Okay. It's just having to take a need to take a rest period. Rest. R&R. This is what I'm saying. Good R&R is what you need by the Friday going into the weekend. And I feel if some of you um, do that, then you'll feel so much better um, when the weekend does approach. Okay. So, Sagittarius, this is your reading. Um the golden path oracle card that I have selected uh, for you to support your reading is goodness of I mean, so goddess of oneness I'm sorry <laughs> and goddess of oneness is saying someone is thinking of you this very moment and sending you their loving thoughts and wishes everything we think and feel is broadcast excuse me broadcast like radio waves without us reading it whether we intend to broadcast our feelings and thoughts does not matter. It happens automatically. Human consciousness is like the world wide web. We transmit and receive information through our natural impulses, thoughts, and feelings. And this information circulates forever on the world wide web of human consciousness. So this is just a snippet of a message attached to the goddess of oneness. So and always like before. If the above reading does not resonate with you, then I draw these oracle cards. There may be a message in there for you that does and vice versa. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for your, uh, coming to my channel and for your attention. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very uh, safe upcoming week ahead. And until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Be safe. Bye.